Okay. Next uh, from equation 36, right. So, equation 36 it was P k i that was P i k and this is your P k i, right. So, uh, this is the expression uh, for this thing. So, here also find out P 2 1 also, right, like k is equal to 2 i is equal to 1 in this expression you substitute. If you do so, if you do so that will be the expression for P 2 1 that is equation 36, right. So, that means, at all the all the all the parameters you put it here, uh, put it here, then you will get P 2 1 is equal to uh, your minus 1.744 uh, per unit mega that is minus 174.4 megawatt, right. Uh, if you if you see uh, P 1 2, uh, P 1 2 here 181.89 megawatt, right. And that means, power it is positive means power is flowing 1 to 2, right. And here uh, at the P 2 1, it is minus 174.4 megawatt, then the power actually flowing from your what you call 1 to 2, but as P 2 1 is showing minus right that means, in between and this one, uh, this one is your uh, your P 1 2, this one is 18, uh, this one is 181.89, it indicate difference indicate that resistive loss in the in the line right that we will see after this. So, similarly, your this is P 2 1. Similarly, P 3 1 using the same equation 36 right k is equal to 3 i is equal to 1 if you put it put all the parameters P 3 1 will also become minus 1.95 per unit megawatt that is minus 195 uh, megawatt right. So, that means, power is power uh, the uh, actual direction of the power flowing is 1 to 3 because it is minus sign is coming right. So, next is your P 3 2 same way you can compute right the same same equation you can use and put your k 3 i k is equal to 3 i is equal to 2 expand this and uh, your what you call put this and there you put all the values you will get p 3 2 is equal to 49.6 megawatt this all these results are after second iteration only right. Now, real power losses in line 1 2 1 3 and 2 3. So, p loss 1 2 actually is equal to that we have we have uh, shown before no that p uh, line flows p 1 2 plus p 2 1 that is 181.89 minus 174.4 that is 7.49 megawatt. Similarly, P loss 1 3 that is P 1 3 plus P 3 1 200 minus 195 that is 5 megawatt and P loss 2 3 that is P 2 3 plus P 3 2 that is minus 49.03 plus 49.6 that is 0.57 megawatt right. So, these are the result for the losses after your what you call that your second iteration that is a real power loss right. Similarly, similarly your reactive line flows be calculated from equation 35 and 37. So, again like your q your q i k expression is given in equation 35 right. So, there you uh, just uh, put i is equal to 1 k is equal to 2 and this expression and put all these parameters you will get q 1 to actually is equal to 0 0.894 it, uh, it per unit megawatt that is multiply by 100, 100 mb is the base. So, 89.48 megawatt right. Similarly, q 1 3 also you compute put all the values. So, q 1 3 will become 108.8 .8 megawatt right. So, similarly, q 2 3 also you compute q 2 3 also you compute right. So, all this directly uh, I am not writing the formula for q 2 3 again just you can do it of your own right. So, all, all, all these things are details have been explained right. So, you can do it. So, q to, th q to 3 will become minus 47.46 megawatt right. Now, uh, similarly from e equation 37 that is that is your that is your q k i uh, 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 that was uh, your uh, that was q i k and that is q k i this expression is given 37, but note that charging admittance is not considered. So, it will be 0 this term uh, will be 0 right and q k i also for q i k also for q i k also charging admittance was 0 because we have not considered that right. So, if you calculate q to 1 then it is coming minus 74.6 megawatt using equation 37. Similarly, q 3 1 you compute upon substitution of all you will get it is minus 94.69 megawatt right. So, then you calculate q 3 2. 
that is your q 3 2 again the same expression put all the values not writing those expression again and again right understandable now. Right. So, this is coming q 3 2 is equal to 48.66 mega bar. Now, reactive power losses in line 1 to 1 3 and 2 3 same as before. So, q loss 1 to q 1 2 plus q 2 1. So, you will get 14.88 mega bar. So, q loss 1 3 is equal to q 1 3 plus q 3 1 you will get 14.11 mega bar and q loss 2 3 is equal to q 2 3 plus q 3 2 that is coming 1.20 mega bar. Note that all the all the results given above are computed after second iteration only. It is not converged result for that convergence you have to make a more number of iterations and you have to test the convergence that whatever convergence procedure I have said right. Next is that this is this is the example we consider for when all buses are your PQ type buses right. Now, next we will take an example that will that uh, will consider PV bus also and you can see that how we can accommodate PV bus in the gauss Seidel method. After gauss Seidel method we will come to the Newton Raphson method right and uh, and uh, your uh, uh, decouple, uh, couple, decouple and fast decouple right uh, load flows and then we will uh, see that your uh, transformer your tap changing transformer representation the pi model and after that I will tell you the P and P Q V your bus accommodation in that uh, load flow studies that how one can do this and what is the your significance of it right. So, next example is next example is that your same data we have taken except one thing that this this is actually in this case this is a slag bus a slag bus uh, bus 3 is a P Q bus that same load data as before 138.6 megawatt and reactive load is 45.2 megawatt right. And, uh, and this bus is a PV bus, this bus is a PV bus. So, here for bus 2 voltage magnitude is specified, at PV bus P has to be specified and voltage magnitude has to be specified. So, voltage magnitude V 2 is equal to 1.0 per unit, it is specified. And uh, load that is 305.6 megawatt, P G 2 is also 50 megawatt, but uh, no other thing has been mentioned right. That means, PV bus means you have to find out that your what you call q is not given q is not given right. So, uh, uh, q, so that means, in p q bus uh, v and delta delta are unknown for this bus v 3 and delta 3 you have to find out and for this bus as uh, your your q and delta th, uh, 2 has to be obtained because voltage magnitude is specified real power also specified right. So, in this case uh, we uh, will show only your what you call uh, that couple of iterations right. Uh, I have to check whether I have made it 2 iterations or 3 iterations right, but uh, how to make it, but no q limit nothing will be considered here just to show you that how things can happen right. So, same as before PLT, PL 2 is given 305.6 megawatt, P G 2 is 50 megawatt right. Therefore, P 2 is equal to P J 2 minus P L 2 that is minus 255.6 megawatt. Therefore, P 2 is equal to minus 2.556 per unit megawatt same as before right. And similarly, similarly, so this is again 3 bus problem. Huh? So, similarly P 3 is equal to P G 3 minus P L 3. So, there is no generator there is no generator at bus 3. So, it is 0 minus 138.6 megawatt that is minus 138.6 megawatt. So, it is divided by 100. I am not dividing it 100, but if you divide by 100 that is 100 mb is the base. So, minus 1.386 per unit megawatt right. Similarly, for q 3 is also q g 3 minus q l 3 that is minus 45.2 megawatt. So, divided by 100 it will be minus 0.452 per unit megawatt. Now, slag bus voltage is same 1.05 plus j 0, 0.0 right. Now, p v bus magnitude of voltage magnitude v 2 is equal to 1 right that means v 2 is 0 actually we can take 1 plus j. In this case what we will do that uh, the way we solve that your I will uh, follow this, uh, this thing uh, this thing different uh, slightly different procedure of uh, this iterative method right. So, what we will do that V 2 0 although this voltage magnitude actually constant right. So, you assume V 2 0 is equal to 1 plus j 0 that means, uh, magnitude is 1 but initial angle is 0 right. So, this way we assume, but magnitude will always remain constant, magnitude will be untouchable right, it, it is given and for p q bus v 3 0 1 plus j 0 right. 
So, but uh, this uh, p q bus v 3 both uh, magnitude and angle will vary, but here magnitude has to be kept fixed right. So, this one your bus 2 is a regulated bus that is p v bus right, where voltage magnitude and real power are specified right. And for the p v bus first the reactive power is comp uh, computed using equation 16. Just let me find out where is equation 16, right? I will tell you. So, here it is, right? So, this was your equation 16 and n is equal to 3. This is equation 16, uh, then n is equal to 3 because at bus uh, 2 it is your PV bus. So, in that bus, your what you call Q2, Q2 is not known, right? Q2 is not known. So, uh, we have to see that how iteratively we can make it right. So, what you will do it that from this equation n is equal to 3 you expand for i is equal to 2 right because bus 2 actually is a p v bus right. So, put i is equal to 2 and k is equal to 1 to n because n is equal to 3 because you have a 3 bus problem you are solving right. Therefore, if you put i is equal to 2 and minus it is, it is minus sign a minus sign is there right. So, it is k is equal to 1 to 3 then it will magnitude v 2 v k magnitude y 2 k sin theta 2 k minus delta 2 plus delta k for k is equal to 1 to 3 you expand this equation right. If you expand this equation right then you will get this q 2 is equal to this one that minus magnitude v 2 magnitude v 1 magnitude y 2 1 sin theta 2 1 minus delta 2 plus delta 1 then minus magnitude beta 2 square magnitude y 2 2 sin theta 2 2 right minus magnitude v 2 magnitude v 3 magnitude y 2 3 right sin theta 2 3 minus delta 2 plus delta 3. Now, uh, if you want for iterative iterative procedure right iterative procedure right then q 2 p plus 1 right then v 2 p right v 1 is a slack bus. So, no question of putting this one y 2 1 in a constant sin theta 2 1 minus delta 2 p because bus 2 is a p q bus delta 2 will also vary that is why it is p plus delta 1 is the slack bus angle where it is a 0 actually right. Then minus v 2 p whole square right because it is v 2 square right and when this one this magnitude 1 uh, this uh, v 2 uh, p square magnitude 1 actually no need to put p p uh, uh, because this is actually bus 2 is a PV bus this voltage magnitude will remain constant. So, minus v 2 square rather right no p then magnitude y 2 2 sin theta 2 2 minus again here also magnitude of v 2 will remain constant no need to put p right. So, magnitude v 2 because v p your uh, bus 2 is a p v bus. So, v 2 is fixed magnitude v 2 is constant. So, no need to put p right then into v 3 p capital Y 2 3 sin theta 2 3 minus delta 2 p plus delta 3 p, but bus 2 that delta 2 p you have to put it here and here because uh, uh, it is a p v bus. So, delta is varying, but magnitude v 2 v 2 always constant. So, no need to put p right. So, this is your q 2 p plus now y matrix is the same as example 1 same y matrix right. So, no change. So, in that case so these are the y matrix this magnitude and angle magnitude and angle magnitude and angle all y 2 1 y 2 2 y 2 3 right. So, now iteration set p is equal to 0 look we are not computing at present any voltage or anything only we are computing q power injection at bus uh, 2 right. Therefore, because after that we will see how we will go for iterative process right. So, in this case that q 2 1 you when p is equal to 0 when p is equal to 0 here you uh, you write q 2 1. So, this is be uh, this q 2 0 this equation will be right that your uh, magnitude your uh, this one what you call here also here also magnitude v 2 p this p also should not be there because magnitude voltage is uh, this thing is your uh, magnitude is constant. So, here also this is not required here also this is not required here also this is not required actually right this is not required. So, and rest your the way they are your given delta 2 0 delta 2 0 delta 3 0 all are there delta 1 anyway it is 0 angle right because it is slack bus and slack bus voltage also no question of iteration because it is fixed right. So, with that you put q 2 1. So, v 1 is 1.05 angle delta 1 0 0.0 magnitude v 2 0 actually it cannot be 0 because it is magnitude will all remains constant right. 
and delta 2 0 is equal to 0 0.0 degree and V 3 0 is equal to 1.0 and delta 3 0 0 0.0. All these you substitute here, you substitute here, you substitute here, right. If you do so, if you do so, then what you will get? You will get Q 2 1 values, put and simplify, right. You will compute Q 2 1 is minus 1.0067 per unit megawatt. This is the value of Q 2 1, right. Now, the value of Q 2 1 is taken as a net reactive power injected at bus 2, right. That is Q 2 is equal to Q 2 1 is equal to minus 1.0067 will take, right. So, first what we are doing for PV bus? We are trying to first uh, after we are trying to compute that at PV bus the reactive power injection, right. So, th that therefore, we will take that Q 2 is equal to this much as reactive power injection at bus 2 iteratively you have to obtain iteratively, right. So, Q 2 is equal to Q 2 1 that is a Q 2 value in the very first iteration, right. I hope you are understanding this, right. Once it is done, then instead of writing equation V 2, I am writing V C 2 P plus 1 because this is not the correct value of the your what you call bus 2 because bus 2 is a PV bus and its voltage magnitude is 1, but using this equation it will never be magnitude will never be 1, right. So, but same equation we are writing 1 upon y 2 to p 2 minus j instead of q 2 we are writing q 2 p plus 1 because that q 2 p plus 1 that equation you are what you call that this this you have to obtain iteratively. So, this q 2 p plus 1 this is q 2 p plus 1 right. So, you are putting minus j q 2 p plus 1 upon v 2 p conjugate minus same as before y 2 1 v 1 minus y 2 3 v 3 p right. That means, this is V C 2 not uh, just making V C 2. So, when P is equal to 0, when P is equal to 0, then V C 2 1 is equal to 1 upon y 2 2 P 2 minus j q 2 1, q 2 1 is already computed here, q 2 1 is already computed here, right. Here it is, here it is and P 2 already uh, earlier we have made it the net injected power at bus 2, those data known, right, minus y 2 1 V 1 minus y 2 3 V 3 0, this is the thing. Now, same as before same as before you compute P 2 minus J Q 2 1 multiply this whole thing by 1 upon Y 2 2. So, you have to compute P 2 minus J Q 2 1 upon Y 2 2 minus Y 2 1 upon Y 2 2 minus Y 2 3 upon Y 2 2 right. So, if you do so then P 2 minus P 2 was minus 2.556 and Q 2 was just Q 2 1 was just minus 1.0067 we have computed. So, substitute all divided by Y 2 2 you will get 0.04725 angle 2 to 1.9 degree and next capital Y 2 1 upon capital Y 2 2 earlier we have got it that is minus 0.3846. Similarly, capital Y 2 3 upon capital Y 2 2 earlier we have got it minus 0.6153. With this, this equation V C 2 1 that means, this equation that is this equation, this equation will become your 0 0.0472 uh, the, the 0 0.0472 angle 221.9 degree divided by V 2 0 conjugate plus 0.3846 V 1 plus 0.6153 V 3 0 right. So, with this all V 2 0 known, V 1 known, V 3 0 known everything is known then you substitute all and then you, then you simplify you calculate uh, compute it is coming V C 2 1 0.98396 minus j 0.03155. If you take its magnitude, it is never 1, right. But we have to make it 1. So, what we will do for PV bus consideration in Gauss Seidel method? What we will do? Since V2 is held constant at 1.0 per unit, right, only the imaginary part of VC21 is retained. That means, what we will do? That imaginary part, whatever we have got it using that Q2, you are considering that Q2 injection, that imaginary part will retain, but this one will compute, this one will find out. How we will do this? Now, that means, imaginary part will take F21 is equal to because your V2 actually V2 is equal to your say E2 plus J F2, right. This way you are taking. That means, your uh, magnitude of V 2 is equal to root over E 2 square plus F 2 square. That means, other way you can write E 2 square plus F 2 square is equal to magnitude of V 2 square, right. That means, E 2 is equal to your magnitude V 2 square minus your F 2 square to the power half, 
right whatever value comes. So, what same thing we are doing it here that your f 2 is here we got minus 0 0.03155. So, this is my f 2 right this is my f 2. So, <coughs> and its real part is obtained from this equation e 2 1 just now I wrote no v 2 square minus f 2 square to the power half same thing that your v 2 square root over v 2 square minus f 2 square here actually in bracket one it, although it will be positive one minus sign is there before here it is minus because here it is minus. So, one minus is there right. So, that means your uh, this one, but v 2 will be held constant at 1. So, this one we have kept fixed right minus your here also minus is missed. So, this is also your minus right. So, that means it will become e 2 1 that is 0 0.9995. Then we will take v 2 1 actually 0 0.9 triple 9 phi minus j this one this will give you magnitude 1 because based on that only we got this e right and it is angle is be minus 1.807 degree that means this one this one using q 2 injection that is uh, we got 0 0.98396 and minus j 0 0.0315 but corrected value you correct it right by considering this uh, this approach considering this approach such that be your this one magnitude if you take it will become 1 now and angle will be minus 1.807 degree that means this v 2 in first iteration magnitude is fixed because p v bus but angle we have got it right. So, similarly your uh, but bus 3 is a p q bus bus 3 is a p q bus. So, in that case the same equation same way you can write this equation v 3 p plus 1 upon y uh, 1 upon y 3 3 capital y 3 3 p 3 minus j q 3 upon v 3 we conjugate minus capital Y 3 1 V 1 minus capital Y 3 2 V 2 P plus 1 because V 2 already computed. So, we are writing V 2 P plus 1 not V 2 P right. So, with this with this with P is equal to 0 the first iteration V 3 1 all these things are there this is the equation right. So, P 3 minus J Q 3 upon V 3 0 already we have computed before it is same here right and this one also same this one also same right. So, with that you put all these values all these value for in the equation of v 3 all these values. So, you will get v 3 1 is equal to 1.0101 angle minus 2.03 degree v 3 is a p q bus. So, no question of this thing directly you are getting. So, after first iteration you got v 2 1 is equal to magnitude remain constant because p v bus right angle minus 1.807 degree and v 3 1 is 1.0101 angle minus 2.03 degree right this is after first iteration. Now, at least what you have to do is now again you have to compute uh, q 2 for the second iteration you have to find out again and you have to go for the correction to the real part of that uh, p v bus voltage magnitude right real part of the p v bus voltage. So, similarly set p is equal to 1 then this q 2 2 will be the same equation will come right and all the units all the values now delta 1 is 0 delta 2 1 is computed this much minus 1.807 degree delta 3 1 minus 2.03 degree magnitude v 1 is 1.05 magnitude v 2 always constant 1 and magnitude v 3 in first iteration 1.0101 per unit right. So, all these values all these values you substitute here you substitute here right. If you do so then you will get after calculation q 2 2 will be minus 1.0507 per unit right this q 2 will get and once you get this in same way same way you calculate your that your what, what you call that uh, uh, v c 2 uh, v c 2 uh, computation right. So, you you will get that v c 2 in the second iteration will be in this form same thing again you make it this is constant this is constant and you will find with that values of q this is more or less same right this uh, this 0 0.04725 almost same right. So, when you when you um, uh, and all the all the initial value all the values are known to you. So, you substitute all the values right. So, in that case what we will get v c 2 2 in the second iteration 0 0.9 triple 8 minus j 0 0.05244 this one we can write e 2 2 in the second iteration real part plus j imaginary part f 2 2 in the second iteration. Now, f 2 2 we are retaining this is we are taking minus 0 0.05244, but e 2 2 because voltage magnitude at bus 2 has to be held constant. So, it is 1. So, e 2 2 is root over 1.0 square minus 
this minus 0 0.0524 per whole square that is coming 0 0.9986, 9986 right. That means, V 2 2 actually 0 0.9986 minus this one although although with a Q reactive power injection it was coming like this, but it is corrected right and uh, it is now 0 0.9986 and minus J 0 0.0544. So, V 2 2 actually 1 angle minus 3 degree magnitude is fixed again, but only angle is varying right. Similar way uh, similar way right similar way that V 3 2 you can compute again you compute all these values this will remain constant these are also constant because already computed only these values you have to substitute right. Therefore, V 3 2 you will get in V 2 3 means the second iteration right you put it you will get it it is 1.0093 minus j 0.04619. So, V 3 2 is 1.0103 angle minus 2.6 degree. So, after second iteration after second iteration that V 2 and V 3 in the second iteration it is 1 V 2 magnitude fixed 1 angle 0 minus 3 degree and this one 1.0103 angle minus 2.6 this is the result after second iteration actually I have done it up to second iteration right. So, this is uh, this is uh, your what you call that Gauss Seidel method that how one can uh, use a Gauss Seidel method uh, solving load flow studies right. So, only thing is that in Gauss Seidel method that uh, number it takes more number of iteration because convergence characteristic actually is a linear right. If time permits at the end uh, if time permits then I can show you the proof that convergence characteristic of Gauss Seidel linear and Newton Raphson it is a quadratic if time permits then not uh, not at the end of this topic, but at the end right. Uh, if I find one hour extra time then I can show you the proof right. So, question, uh, question is that that uh, in uh, whatever two examples we have seen it is a three bus problem uh, three bus problem only right and with that also you have seen the huge computations uh, required right. I am giving you lecture. So, making all these things, uh, but uh, when you will calculate it it will take more time right. So, this is one thing and you have to make all the calculations correctly and all these angles 175, 175, 183 or 229 all these angles when you are making it be check carefully which coordinate you are accordingly you take the angle sometime calculator you will take something calculator may give different angle maybe this way. So, you have to see that which coordinate this thing are and accordingly you take the uh, take the angle the accordingly I have taken right otherwise you may otherwise uh, there is a possibility of uh, you know mistake right. So, be careful about that and all the calculations y matrix other thing and charging admittance are not considered right, uh, but uh, your uh, what you call this, uh, but you have you have got the uh, your what you call got some ideas that how to solve load flows using uh, in Gauss Seidel method for considering P when buses are PQ bus or bus and bus and another thing is the PV bus right. So, but these are the thing, but different versions of consideration of PV buses are there in the literature for Gauss Seidel method, but I have given you this version because I found this version is quite easier right. We next we will take Newton Raphson method, but before that little break thank you.